In the meantime, British Foreign Secretary William Hague has said in an interview that the work being done by the UN inspecting team in the country is strictly scientific. The team does not have a mandate to blame any party, even if evidence of a chemical attack is found. And even so, Haig said all the signs so far are pointing to one direction. There is a clear response. Uh, when they cross such an important line, and as I say, this is the first use of, of chemical warfare in this century. But the UN team are, are doing their work. As I've said the other day, we have to be realistic about what they can achieve. It's not within their mandate to apportion blame. It is their mandate to try to assess scientifically uh, what has happened. Uh, but I think we're very clear, we've, we've been very clear from the outset in the UK about where the blame lies, and that remains the case. All of the evidence points in one direction. Uh, there is no evidence that any opposition group in Syria has the capability, let alone the desire, to launch such a large-scale chemical attack. So all the evidence points in one direction. Um, and it's because that is so clear, and the UN team don't even have the mandate to apportion blame, that they need to complete their work speedily and so that the world can consider it speedily for the reasons I've given.